guys, it is so scary out right now, seriously. It's early in the morning and we had a really bad storm last night. I don't see any damage done to our property, which is good. But there has to be like trees down everywhere. Just wait until you guys get like a gust of wind right now. Not good at all. I've been up for a few hours now. It's like 6.30, but I woke up at 4.30 in the morning to edit a video because I wasn't going to be able to do it at any other time today. Um, so I woke up really early and I've just been, I did that and then I hung out for a little bit and then Cooper and Willow woke up. While this is happening, I wait for Dan to come home. Dan definitely works different hours than the typical person, which is why you guys always see him around. <laughs> it's because his hours are like all over random and weird. And I usually don't talk about um, the actual hours that he works. I would never put myself in a situation where I would like openly give out information as to when I'm home alone in the house. It would be silly of me to even divulge that information. I'm making them breakfast while Dan gives Cooper a bath before he goes to school because he was in need of one and I didn't want to give him one last night. So um, I just made an Eggo waffle and I cut it into little waffle sticks and then they're gonna put a little bit of sugar-free syrup here and then he has some fruit and then Willa's already digging into hers. She loves fruit. Cooper probably won't touch his fruit. Um, but we just offer it to him anyway because that's what you're supposed to do. This girl will eat all types of fruit. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. And I'm not going to put syrup on her plate just yet because she has a tendency to ignore the rest of her food then and then stick her hands in it and just start licking it. So I'm going to let her eat all of her food until she seems to be getting a little bored and starts throwing stuff. And then I'll introduce a, a tiny, tiny, like, I'd say like quarter size to nickel size of some syrup for her. So how was your night last night? Uh, there's trees down everywhere. Really? Yeah, I actually had to stop because there was a car on the side of the road. Uh, she was okay, but a tree came down and hit her car. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. So I waited there and the cops came. That's why I was like, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. Just because oh, like, I'm gonna stop every time someone oh, car is smashed by a tree. Was it really bad? Oh, um, so it was pouring until I like hit the highway to go down, which is like another half hour drive. Yep. What about you, Willa? Can you draw an L? A did I call. <gasps> wow! An A? an A? You want to draw an A? a? Oh, is that what you're drawing? An A? If I draw an A, Mommy. Here, how about, do you want Mommy to do Mom? Let's do... No, I'm mom. I'm gonna do A. An A? Okay. No, I that's mom. You want to do dad? Dad has an A. D. E. A. Wait, D. that's not Cooper A. Look, there you go. I want Cooper A. Okay, draw an A. No, I want to draw Cooper C. A? Say? No, no, I want to draw Cooper A. Draw Cooper A. Mm -hmm. Mom. Mom. Okay, draw a rocket ship. Okay, draw a rocket ship. You want me to do it? Easy. I do fire. I do fire. Rocket ship. The house is tuning. I got a little scary. Mama, yeah, M-O-M. Oh, Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? So, today we are going to have more fun. Oh, yeah. I almost just ran into the, to the uh, stroller. Yeah, today, big festival going on in town. That's where we're walking to right now. I'm excited. Yeah. Will is eating a peanut butter sandwich. Covered in peanut butter. Yeah, she just shoved it in her face. So, Cooper said he wants to play with the kids. Willow says she wants Emmy Emmys, which is M&M's. 
So our kids are already demanding things of us today. Today is there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life. I want to make it count. Honey, come on now and take my hand. Hey, darling. I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note I know a lot of towns do this, but they painted the windows of town today. It's so cute. How cute are these? Set grade eight, grade eight. That one's cute. I like these ones. Those are cute. Yeah, let me get the door. Oh, thank you. Poop. When you eat that, what happens? It's hot, right? But what, what does it turn to? <laughs> Hello. We are in the car. We're gonna go get some food. We're going for an early dinner. Everyone's a little fussy. I am starving. I cannot wait to eat food. How do you feel? Are you okay? I'm starving. Yeah, I'm so hungry. We're gonna go and get like really good barbecue. Um, we've been like really strict with what we've been eating and just like spending money and stuff with like our budget. So we're actually going to go and sit for our like one meal out a week. We don't eat like fast food out any quick meals out that's it we get them a muffin every once in a while like, yeah that's, that's it. not a meal it's right for us so we're gonna go and treat ourselves to a family meal and i'm excited because the food is so good so yummy we're going early it's four o'clock but we there's gonna be a wait and we figured by the time that we've waited it'll be like around 4 30 ish by the time we get there it'll be about like 4 15 by the time we've waited it'll be like 4 30 4 45 and then by the time we're done eating, it'll be like six ish, and that's Will's bedtime, 6.30. So perfect timing. Okay, I just put our name in. 35 minute wait, guys, at four o'clock. That's what I'm talking about, this place. Oh, this place is like a madhouse, seriously. I was gonna say, babe, you can go get that spot, but those people are gonna take it. But yeah, seriously, this place, like it's so busy guys, so, so busy. You guys excited? She's so tired. So we finally get here and everything that we wanted is sold out. Like literally. So now we're just sitting here moping, waiting for our food to come that we don't really want. Yeah, the second, the second, actually not even the second, the third and fourth. Yeah, we've been talking about pork belly all week. It's a bummer. Anyway, what can you do? We'll have some wings. Bacon, you gotta ask mom if you can have some. I was lost in the woods, on the dust, and the fairies found me. So I wanted to just sit down here and I wanted to talk to you about like what's been going on these past few weeks So we had decided to Track my ovulation this month even though that we weren't going to try to have a baby because I wanted to a use it as a form of birth control and B I wanted to know if like I was still ovulating at the same time because my cycle did change like a little bit and you know just because you have like you know a 28 day cycle doesn't mean that you ovulate on day 14 that can always change <sighs> Guess what ends up happening? I don't understand why this keeps happening to me. <laughs> so basically, I'm just once again confused. Two scenarios that are happening right now. First scenario is every single pregnancy test and ovulation test that I have owned in the past three months have been defective. Or option B, I had positive pregnancy tests and I was pregnant with a chemical pregnancy and that is the reason why I did not ovulate this month. 
Now, I've never not ovulated that I'm aware of. I've always had a very normal cycle. So I don't, I'm like, okay, well I didn't ovulate. So I definitely had a chemical pregnancy because like obviously I was pregnant and then it's gonna take a little while for the HCG to get out of my system and for everything to just kind of like go back to normal. And then it will probably push my, my period back like weirdly a little bit. And I was like, okay. And then I got a DM and the DM said, hey, I have those tests that you got and it said for two months that I did not ovulate when I was ovulating. The tests were defective. So now I'm like, did I really manage to purchase two faulty blue dye tests, two faulty first response tests, and a whole package? I probably took like 12 of them because I was taking them twice a day to try to like catch my ovulation. Were they really all faulty? Like all of them? All of the tests were faulty. I'm like so confused and I'm so frustrated because like it's toying with my emotions and I'm sure you guys are watching this and you're like, well just stop testing and leave it up to fate. Fine, no, no problem. You know what, maybe we'll do that next month. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that the month after. I had gone into it though, for the reasons that I mentioned before, thinking nothing of it. Like, oh, we'll just figure out when I'm ovulating, you know, and just make things a little bit easier. Um, and, you know, in the meantime, we'll be able to, you know, prevent getting pregnant. So now I'm just like annoyed and just like fed up. So what I ended up doing was I contacted Amazon and said that there's been a lot of complaints about faulty tests. I had recommended them on Instagram so I quickly put up a stories just saying like if you purchase these tests please here's a warning um, like this is what was happening to me and other people complained of it so please return them if you would like to because uh, Amazon gave me a full refund like very easily so i ended up returning him and then a lot of people were messaging me saying which ones to get and they said to get the pregmate ones and those are the ones i ended up going with i'm gonna go show you guys exactly what they look like and i am impressed by these tests not sponsored nothing at all purchased with my own money i'm really impressed with these tests they're like wider and thicker and like more like sturdier. You can tell they're better quality. I paid $18 for 50 ovulation tests and I think 20 or 30 pregnancy tests. I obviously have not tracked my ovulation because I'm pretty certain that I missed it. Either that or the tests weren't faulty and I actually didn't ovulate and I had a chemical pregnancy and that happened. But at the end of the day, this is what I said to Dan. I am a healthy woman, I have healthy babies, my husband is healthy, my loved ones are healthy, I am grateful for all of that, and at the end of the day, it's just faulty tests. It does not mean anything, it doesn't matter, it is not like, it is a temporary situation, it is not permanent, but I am annoyed, <laughs> to say the least, because it's happening again, it's happening again. Like. How many times am I just gonna purchase a test and it's just gonna be like, not working? So I have one here, I figured, you know what? Let me take one, we'll just take one. That's what they look like. And I'll show you, they're like thicker. So one second, let me use that. So like, this is what I mean by them being thicker. Like, it's just like a thicker. It just kind of sucks because I'm like, it's kind of a bummer that there are so many tests on the market that just don't actually test for pregnancy like you're supposed to be able to trust the first response test and apparently those have been having really bad evap lines as well so it's just like i guess at the end of the day you should just be testing past your period and you shouldn't be really looking at squinters like yes there's always going to be somebody who's going to say that there's always going to be people in the comment section always saying like well you're dumb for testing so early but when you are trying to have a baby it's like such an exciting time it's just something that you want so so much that you know you want to see that line you want to see um that you're ovulating you want to do everything in your power to not have to wait month after month after month so of course you know you're going to be a little impatient and a little anxious and excited and you're going to test before you should actually probably really <laughs> really test but um i don't know it's just kind of a bummer it's really in the grand scheme of things, not a big deal, like I said, but a little annoying to still be in this situation where 
I can't really trust the tests that I'm taking. Hopefully I can trust these tests because that would be awesome. Um, so far so good. And then hopefully soon we can start trying for a baby. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> I'm like already emotional over the idea of being pregnant again and like feeling baby kicks and like, you know, seeing the ultrasound for the first time and we're gonna get to see what another one of Cooper or another one of Willow looks like. That is the coolest part. Like I'm gonna get to see like a different variation that Dan and I can create, but yeah. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we love you. If you guys have any recommendations for pregnancy tests that you've taken and like swear by, please comment them down below. That would be much appreciative. And if you've used this brand, the Pregmate brand, also please let me know if you've had any bad experiences with it um, or any good experiences as well would be much appreciated. But thank you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.